Musk recently unveiled an ambitious timeline for SpaceX's upcoming Starship launches, despite the initial setback experienced during Starship's debut flight on April 20th. The first orbital flight, which ended in an explosion four minutes after launch, could have been a major setback, but the SpaceX team is already looking forward. Following the failure, SpaceX has identified several issues and taken corrective measures to improve the performance and safety of the vehicle. They are cautiously optimistic about the next launch attempt, aiming to successfully reach orbit and gather valuable information on Starship's performance during the flight. With the lessons learned from the recent launch, Musk has stated that the company could potentially complete four to five flights this year alone. This timeline may seem overly optimistic, but with the SpaceX team's track record, it's hard to predict their limits. The next Starship orbital flight is scheduled to take place within a few months, with Musk expressing his hope for a higher probability of success this time. The upcoming mission will repeat the same profile as the first attempt, with the Super Heavy booster launching and landing in the Gulf of Mexico, while Starship will separate, nearly reach orbital velocity, and return to splashdown in the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii. SpaceX is focused on getting to orbit with this next flight and working on achieving reusability on a regular basis for both the booster and the upper stages in the coming years. To ensure a successful launch and orbit, SpaceX has made several significant improvements to both the Starship and the Super Heavy Booster. For the next launch, the company will use a Super Heavy Booster called Booster 9, which features more advanced and reliable Raptor engines with improved shielding. This upgraded booster is designed to be more robust and easier to control, thanks to the incorporation of electric motor-based steering for the engines as opposed to hydraulic actuators. In addition to engine improvements, Booster 9 has undergone extensive testing and proofing to verify its structural integrity and reliability. This testing involved loading the booster with around a thousand tons of liquid nitrogen to simulate the explosive liquid oxygen and methane propellant. The successful completion of these tests paved the way for Raptor engine installation on Booster 9. One of the most significant upgrades to the Raptor engines in Booster 9 is the switch from hydraulic to electric thrust vector control TVC. This change allows for better isolation of the engines, which prevents a single engine failure from causing a domino effect on neighboring engines or the stage itself. The electrically actuated engines are designed to be much more reliable and robust, ensuring improved performance during launch and flight. SpaceX has been testing electric Raptor TVC at its McGregor, Texas development facilities for several months, working to perfect the technology and ensure its readiness for installation on Booster 9. The electric TVC system will need to handle the immense power required to rapidly redirect over 3,000 tons, or 6.6 .6 million pounds of thrust multiple times per second during the flight. Before Booster 9 can be cleared for launch, it will need to undergo a series of static fire tests to verify that all 33 engines, including the 13 electrically steered engines, are functioning correctly and can work together seamlessly. SpaceX will also need to confirm that the batteries powering the electric TVC systems can handle the extreme stresses they will experience during launch and flight. As SpaceX gears up for the next Starship launch, they will also need to address any issues with the launch pad and orbital launch mount at their Starbase facility in South Texas. The launch mount is essential for ensuring a successful liftoff, as it must provide a stable and secure platform for the massive Starship and Super Heavy booster to launch from. In addition, the infrastructure at the launch pad must be able to support the rapid turnaround time between launches, which is crucial for SpaceX's ambitious timeline. The ultimate goal of SpaceX's Starship program is to enable affordable and sustainable space travel, eventually making it possible to establish a human presence on Mars. By developing reusable launch vehicles, SpaceX aims to dramatically reduce the cost of space transportation and open up a new era of space exploration. Key objectives for the Starship program include the development of a reusable launch vehicle capable of rapid turnaround between launches, which is essential for reducing costs and increasing launch frequency. Another important objective is increasing payload capacity. Starship is designed to carry over 100 metric tons of payload to low Earth orbit or LEO, which is significantly more than any other launch vehicle currently in operation. Starship will also be the vehicle that takes humans back to the moon and ultimately to Mars. 
It is designed for extended deep space missions, with the capability to support crewed missions beyond Earth's orbit. Furthermore, the development of Starship opens up the possibility of space tourism, allowing private citizens to visit Earth's orbit, the Moon, or even Mars in the future. SpaceX's ambitious timeline for the Starship program will undoubtedly face challenges. As they progress with each launch attempt, they will continue to learn more about the performance of the vehicle and its systems, identifying issues and making improvements along the way. It's important to remember that the development of any new launch vehicle is fraught with risk, and setbacks are inevitable. However, SpaceX has consistently demonstrated its ability to overcome obstacles and push the boundaries of space exploration. SpaceX's advancements with the Starship program have also spurred increased interest and competition in the global space industry. As countries like China and Russia work on their own reusable launch vehicles, and organizations like Blue Origin and the United Launch Alliance develop their own heavy-lift rockets, SpaceX must continue to innovate and maintain its leadership position. This global competition is also fostering international collaboration in the space sector, as countries and private companies alike strive to achieve common goals like deep space exploration and the establishment of a sustainable human presence beyond Earth. The future of space exploration will likely be marked by a combination of competition and cooperation as multiple nations and organizations contribute to humanity's shared journey into the cosmos. SpaceX's ambitious Starship timeline is a testament to the company's relentless drive to push the limits of space exploration. Despite the initial setback during the first Starship orbital flight, Musk and the SpaceX team remain committed to making rapid progress and overcoming the challenges ahead. If you find this video informative, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.